two kids, Hazel and Augustus, who meet at a support group for kids with cancer and uh, come to share a love for this book called An Imperial Affliction, written by a reclusive author named Peter Van Hout. The Fault in Our Stars is the first book that we've ever had for summer reading that's actually funny. Uh, so it's a lighthearted romp through suburbia, which we've never really had before. Although, of course, it also has to do with young people who have cancer, but that I think is a testament to the book's uh, potential that it can it can maintain its lighthearted tone while also dealing with some pretty heavy issues. I, the, the voice of it just sounded like teenagers talking to each other and having to deal with the problems that we actually have to face in our life. Well, every kid that I know has recommended somebody else to read it when they've picked it up, so to me that's a display of a great book that kids want to read and I think that the kids in the school are going to be just as excited about it as my kids are. It's, it's a grabber. It grabbed me for early in the book and I just read straight through. I read it in a very short period of time. I don't believe I read it in 24 hours. Um, but I'd sort of slow down with books a lot now mm -hmm. and this one I read like from start to finish. It's very funny, which is something that I think a lot of high school students like, especially over the summer. Um, because you don't necessarily want to read something like really, really heavy, and we've, we've had that in the past. Well, interestingly enough, my daughter read it and recommended that I read it. And uh, it was on my book pile, and I picked it up and didn't put it down. Uh, read through, there was sleep involved, but outside of that, I, uh, I just, you know, it grabs you from the minute you start. Uh, the characters are wonderful. I mean, it's really sad, and I cry at everything in some ways, but I didn't cry at this because there was so much humor in it that you were able to understand these kids and get through it and really feel their growth as they're going through this very difficult time. If you know anyone who has cancer or you are related to anyone who has ever had cancer or is dealing with it now, it can be kind of stressful sometimes. Um, like my mom had cancer and there was a moment where like, Mm, I know that I can relate to that and it's not the most comfortable during those times but the way it's handled I think was quite nice actually because it kind of puts in like yes it's serious but like how you handle it and you're kind of like oh I reacted differently when this happened and then like this it's interesting I wish I'd known that like I wish I'd had that um just a, it, I think it's a good way to deal with it. It's going to be a very different experience from Zaytun, very different experience from any other book that we've yet read for One School, One Book. And I think that it will be a refreshing difference. What will they say after I'm gone? Is there something wrong? With just being me, why must I make a legacy that only leaves a scar? I want the grace to believe there's no fault in our stars. I've spent my whole life 
Chasing immortality, having the need Not just the one, to be extraordinary. there's a certain unpleasantness to Drowning in the knowledge, that I'll die in the middle of a sentence I want that sentence to count